Welcome to the House of Drift. already right here as we go in the middle it gets really really steep and as you can see we scraped off a lot of tire stuff off of here we had 20 years of tires on here we had to scrape a lot of it off because last year it rained so when there was a lot of rubber on here and with water it was like ice so they were all over the place so what we did with the track is that we scraped all the old rubber off I think that this is a really great experience. We kind of get to see how the cars work, you know. They show us under the hood. Got to ask a couple questions, you know, why is the air filter so big? She kind of just explained to me, more power. And I was like, oh, you know, that makes sense. I would recommend people to come next year. I feel like it's an experience like no other. It's it's nothing like how you see it on TV. It's like you're there, you hear it, you feel it. It's the vibration in the bench. It's a whole nother experience. I feel like I've learned a lot of things. What kind of tires they use and how the, the grip works. And I've learned what kind of distribution they use between wheels. One thing they were talking about, it's not about how slippery the tire is, it's about how grippy the tire is because of how fast they need to go, what kind of speeds they need to read. I feel like there are a lot of opportunities. Pit crew, the driver, the representative, and smaller aspects of the whole corporation. And I feel like it's overall something great to be part of. All right, so this is my drift car. I got a LS3 with a 3.0 Whipple supercharger. So we're right around like 980. From going straight to drifting power. Uh, so basically you have this thing called a wheel slip ratio. When you're driving on a regular straight line, right, your tires are moving at say 10 miles an hour, the car's moving at 10 miles an hour. As soon as you initiate drift, you basically get the tires to spin faster than your G-force forward. So it's called a wheel slip ratio. So the car could be moving 10 miles an hour, but the wheels are actually moving 25 miles per hour. Does that make sense? Yeah. To actually get the drift going, these cars have a lot of traction, believe it or not. So like with a drift car, the whole goal is to have as much grip built into this car. So we have to find the most mechanical grip in this car. When I'm drifting, if I'm following someone, which you'll see, you'll have a lead run and then a follow run. When I go into my follow run, I'm like wanting to be right up onto that car. So I want to be able to surge up when I want to and back off when I want to. Does that make sense? Does that answer your question? Yes. How many sets of tires do I go through? Can I get some guesses? 50. 50? Yeah, close. Between my brother and I, we go through around anywhere from 65 to 80 sets of tires a weekend. So I get two passes on a set of tires and then I'm switching tires. Camber's actually not very important. Uh, when it comes to actually like building grip into the car, most of it is relied on by the shocks. So you can have full soft and you can have full hard. Um, when it's full hard, it's going to allow the car to not put so much weight on one tire versus the other tire, and that is going to affect your tire patch on the ground. It's very complicated. That's like the most simplest way of putting it. So I'm on a 255 GT radial, and my brother is running a 315 Nitto. That's a good ratio to be in if you wanted it this part. Well, for horsepower to... Like your power to weight ratio? Yeah, power. Um, it depends on how much grip you can build into the car because sometimes not having having a lot of power cannot be ideal, right? Because if my wheels are spinning at 110 miles an hour and I'm moving 90 and there's no grip that's found there, the weight doesn't really, it's not gonna play 
apart. Does that make sense? What made me really fall in love with racing was the actual marketing side. And I actually went to school for construction management. I went for four years, got my bachelor's, and that's what I was doing. I was working for my parents' construction company. And I fell in love with the accounting side and the business side and understanding marketing. And when they called me, I'm like, well, I don't even know how much it costs to race, to be honest. But uh, it's January and our season starts in April. I'm not planning on drifting this year. So that being said, if you want to uh, be a part of my program, I need a title sponsor to go race. So I read books and I watched videos and I called people and I understood the marketing side of how I can benefit a sponsor by providing them more than just a sticker on the car. Because most people think, hey, I'll put a sticker on my car in exchange for you know the whole clutch assembly. And in reality, like you have to understand what their marketing goals are because they're throwing away their marketing money. This is Willwood. They make some of the best brakes. Come check this out. Willwood started in 1977. Started with their roots in circle track racing and NASCAR, and then evolved from there to what you know it now. Have you heard about the Accelerate program at all? You guys work with you. Yes. And try to get them uh, exposed to this industry and to the automotive world. There's always opportunities no matter where you are. We have engineers, people that work in their our research and development department, people that work in assembly and work their way up from assembly into other departments. Large company with a lot of different levels. You don't have to work in the shop. You, exactly. there's, there's different avenues to connect into the automotive industry. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. Thank you. I wanted to ask you some questions about tire stacks if you had a minute. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me something about tire stack that other people don't know. Probably the amount of tires that we mount. In a, in a pro weekend, we'll do five to 600 tires. When it's the combined pro and pro spec, actually at this pass of Utah, we did our record 1,500 tires over four days. 1,500 in four days. We unload two 53-foot trailers filled with tires on our setup day. We unload them on the ground. And then that afternoon, we're mounting for the teams, getting them ready for their first day that they're actually driving. So That's insane. I mean, we're one of the most vital parts of Formula Drift. I mean, if, if the team wasn't here mounting the tires, that's the show wouldn't happen. So the, the guys that are here working and changing the tires, uh, you're one of the most vital pieces of the series. So, I mean, it's a, it's a lot different when you're part of motorsports. So you're not just a tire changer. You're a, a, a essential piece of making that sport happen. So that's it for today. My name is Mike Bensey. Thank you guys for joining us at our Wendell Speedway, and I'm out.